Welcome boys and girls. What we're going to do in this lesson here is we're going to, I'm going to show you how to multiply mixed numbers using area models. So what we have here is we have our first example. We have one and two thirds and we have two and one fifth. And what we're going to do is we're going to take those two uh, factors, we're going to multiply them together, but we're going to multiply them using this area model here. Now what I'm going to first do is I'm going to start out by breaking apart the different parts of the first factor, one and two thirds. I'm going to take the whole part of the next number, place that here, and I'm going to take the fraction part of the next number and place that here. Uh, and then what I do with my second factor is I take the two and one-fifths and I break that apart. I take the two holes here and I place the one-fifth here. Now what I do is I am going to take the uh, each part of these factors and I'm going to multiply them together. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking this 2 and I'm multiplying this 1 and I know my answer 2 times 1 is 2. Uh, in order to figure out what goes in this part of our area model I'm going to be multiplying uh, 1 times 1 fifth uh, which would get me a product of 1 fifth uh, and now I need to figure out what goes in these uh, final two sections here. So uh, in order to figure out what goes in this spot here, I need to take my two-thirds, and I need to now multiply that by two. So I take my two, and I take my two-thirds. Um, I am going to multiply them together. I wound up getting four-thirds, which as a mixed number equals one and one-third. Uh, and then in order to figure out what I what goes in this uh, last part of the area model, I take my two-thirds and I multiply it by my one-fifth. Uh, I could do that work over here if I have two-thirds and I have one-fifth. Um, I know I get an answer of two-fifteenths, which cannot be simplified. Uh, so I have two-fifteenths as my um, answer for that part. Now what I need to do, uh, now that I have all these different parts of the area model now filled in, I need to take all of these numbers with, that are within this area model and I need to add them together to figure out what the product of one and two thirds times two and one fifth is. So uh, let's take a look at the second part to this, adding these, these, these numbers together. So what I did was I took uh, the area model from the other page and I rewrote it here just so I had a little bit more room to work with. Now. Uh, like we said, we're going to add all these parts together to figure out what my final answer is. Now, the order does not matter in which uh, in which we, we add these because uh, regardless of the order, as long as you're adding them all together, you're going to get the same answer. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take uh, this column here, add them together, uh, those two numbers together, get this column here, add them together, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine uh, those two sums to figure out the final answer. So I start out here, I have two holes, and I'm going to add the one-fifth to that. Um, that's a pretty basic uh, problem. I would just take the two holes plus the one-fifth, and that would get me two and one-fifth. So that's something I could do mentally. Uh, don't need to do much work for. But now here I have one and one-third, and I have my uh, two and fifteenths that I need to add together. Well, what I need to do is I need to find a common denominator for the 3 and the 15 because we know when we add or subtract fractions, we need the denominators to match. Uh, so if I have a 3 and 15, I know from my previous lessons that uh, 15 could be the least common denominator for uh, the 1 third and 2 fifteenths. Um, 2 fifteenths is going to stay as is, but uh, 1 third is going to equal now 5 fifteenths. Uh, and now at this point, all I would do is I would take uh, the 1 and 5 fifteenths, and I would add the 2 fifteenths to that, and I would get as my answer 1 and 7 fifteenths. Um, so this column here equals 2 and 1 fifth. This column here equals 1 and 7 fifteenths. So all I need to do at this point is I just need to add those together to figure out what my uh, product is to the original problem was. So I have 2 and 1 fifth and I have 1 and 7 fifteenths uh, like we have done before, like we just did, adding the two uh, the two mixed numbers we need to find our least common denominator which we know now is 15 
that will equal 3 fifteenths, that's going to stay as 7 fifteenths. I now add them together, 2 plus 1 is 3, it's 3 and 7 is 10, and I have 3 and 10 fifteenths. Now, 10 fifteenths can be put in simplest form. Uh, for 10 and 15, we're going to have a greatest common factor of 5. You divide the numerator by 5, the denominator by 5, and 10 fifteenths is actually equivalent to 2 thirds. Therefore, your final answer to this example here would be 3 and 2 thirds. I'm going to show you another example uh, of how to use area models to solve these, uh, these kinds of problems. All right, so let's take a look at this problem. I have 2 and 3 fourths, and I am going to multiply it by 2 and 1 6. But what I want to do is I want to use my area model to solve this problem. So I'm going to first start with my first factor, and I'm going to break apart the 2 and 3 fourths. I'm going to place the 2 here, and I'm going to place my 3 fourths here. Uh, then I look at my second factor. I'm going to break that apart. I have my 2, and then I have my 1 6. Now what I need to do at this point is... I need to figure out what's going to be fitting in each one of uh, in each one of these these sections of my area model. So I now first I multiply my two times my two I get four. Um, at this point I would have to multiply my two times my one sixth. Well, let's see, two is really equal to two over one. I multiply that by one sixth and I get 2 6 at this point. Now 2 6 can be simplified. Um, I'm not going to take the time to put that in simplest form just yet. Uh, I can do that now. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You would get the same answer, but I'm just going to leave it as 2 6 for now. Uh, and I'm going to figure out what goes in this part of the area model. And I'm going to multiply my 3 fourths here uh, times the 2. So uh, like I said before, 2 is really 2 over 1. Now I have multiply it by 3 fourths and I get 6 fourths which is equivalent to 1 and 2 fourths um, 1 and 2 fourths would go here again that 2 fourths can turn into 1 half um, but I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to touch that right just yet I'm not going to put that in simple form just yet uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to figure out what now goes in this last part of the area model, and I need to multiply my 3 fourths times my 1 6 to figure that out, and I know uh, I get as an answer 3 20 fourths. That also can be simplified, but I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. All right, so now I have my area model set up. Uh, what I then have to do is I have to take all the numbers that are inside this area model, and I need to add them together to figure out the answer to my original product here, to my, to my original question. Um, and let's see how this works. So like what I did with my uh, previous example, I'm going to add each one of these columns together. I'm going to add this column, and I'm going to add this column together, and then... Uh, in order to figure out my final answer, I'm going to take those two and find out the sum of those two answers. So I start out with uh, my 4 and 2, 6, adding them together. Uh, so, again, that's something that should be done mentally. If I have four holes and I add 2, 6 to it, I'm left with 4 and 2, 6. Um, at this point here, for this next part of the error model, I'll have to add my 1 and 2 fourths and my 3 twenty fourths. Um, those denominators don't match, so I need to find my least common denominator, which uh, of 4 and 24 is 24. Uh, and I make my equivalent fractions. That would equal 12 24ths, uh, and this would stay the same as 3 24ths. I add them together, and I would get uh, 1 and 15 24ths. Um, now that I have the sums of each one of these columns, I now need to combine them together to figure out what the final answer would be. So I take my 4 and 2, 6, and I take my 1 and 15, 24ths. Um, 
again, this 2 6 and the 15 24 can be simplified, and you could do that if you want, but I'm just going to wait until the end um, when I get my answer to put, to put them in simplest form. Um, so here I have 6 and 24 as my denominators. I need to match them up, so I need to find my least common denominator, and 24 would be the least common denominator for the 6 and the 24. That would get me uh, 8 24 really 4 and 8 24 This would stay the same as 15 24 I add them together, and I would then get as my answer 5, and 23 24 therefore 5 and 23 24 is the product of 2 and 3 fourths times 2 and 1 sixth so that is one way you can solve uh, multiplication of mixed numbers um, this, this one way using area models